where things are getting cool and creepy. I thought you were gonna say that we should sing the song from High School Musical, that like Hawaiian ones. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Flying high on a Hawaii roller coaster ride. Yay! I like how we just assume that's the best yeah. one. I'm like, well, you want it. That's the one. We wanted six of them, so. They must have been the big ones. you some more fish. Let's see. Looking good. There you go. Two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14. <gasps> four. Those are way really more. I stopped counting. Yeah, those are the good ones. Okay, what else? I'll check back with you later. Yeah, thir Sounds yeah, good. Thir no. 37! Okay, let's get this snorkeling equipment, even though I don't know what we need it for, but... Hey, what's going we on? We yeah, we don't even know Think I could rent some snorkeling, snorkeling equipment? As yeah. long as you've got 30 Big Island bucks, you can. Girl, there you I go. Wish. Seven and there you go. Spare. This dry bag is great. I can keep my clothes with me while I'm snorkeling. Cool. Thanks. Cool. Dry bag. Need anything else? See you in a bit. Sounds good. Okay, let's go talk to uh, Big Island Mike. Big Island Mike. Sir? Hey, what's going on? Is this your pawn ticket? I found it over there. Never seen it before. Then maybe it belonged to the guy who clobbered Joe. Or maybe it's been lying there we for weeks. The, the guy who cleans this place right. doesn't exactly sure. keep it spotless. Namely, me. I couldn't help but overhear you and Pua arguing earlier. Anything serious? Father-daughter stuff. No big thing. Forget about it. Kinda reminded me of some of the fights Joe and I have had. So I said horrible. forget about it! Oof. Sir! Sorry, can't talk. Too busy. Ah, no, Sorry, certain can't talk. Numbers Too busy. To call, then. Yeah, because the, the pawn shop has a number on it. Yeah. Definitely... And I wonder even their contact who sent them here, I wonder even if we can talk to that. Truly. I also wonder that trivia machine, maybe that gives us the answer to that box that's locked or something oh. like that, too. Oh. I think that one gives us, like, information. Oh, we have to spend money on all of them to get every single thing. Um, shoot. Hawaiian folklore. Interest. Hawaiian folklore. Yeah. 
Hey, this will cost you a big island butt pal. Big island butt pal. Do we have it? Yeah. Please oh. insert a big okay. island butt. Oh, I gotta insert it first. Oh, I'm fishing. Oh, although maybe we should pay six dollars for more bait before, because now we have six dollars left. True. So if we want to make more money, I mean, we could try to keep collecting shells, but that seems to be a less fruitful way of making yeah, money. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so let's see if we can find anything useful. Two four-letter words. And many who Cap a clock? No. a receipt from your shop that somebody dropped. I'd kind of like to find that person, so I just wondered if you could maybe tell me who you wrote it out to. Sure. What's the number? It's sure. receipt What's number, number? Sure. 57441. Hi, Gordon. That depends on why you're asking. Turns out the stuff I bought off of him was stolen. Cops Ooh. are looking for this guy oh, too. Name's Johnny Kuto. Johnny Apparently he's got a pretty nice career going for him as a freelance oh. thief. Address he gave me turned out Delivering to be bogus. Gave question me a cell phone mark. number too, but he never picked up. Johnny Kuto. Um, so the calendar behind Big Island Mike. Right. He had a post-it that said delivery from JK. So maybe they're in cahoots. So maybe so JK like stole stuff, pawned it off. So maybe like True. if he was delivering that stolen stuff, like oh no, if he pawned it off it wouldn't he wouldn't be giving it to anyone. Yeah, I don't know. Johnny Kudo, I'll write that down. Sure. Interesting. What kind of stuff did Kudo sell to you? Laptop, digital camera, and a PDA. Police said it was smaller than the stuff he usually goes after. Probably just needed some pocket change. Mm. Think you could give me Kudo's phone number? Got it right here. 808-555-9258. Good luck getting him to return your call. What did you mean when you said Kudo is a freelance thief? You tell him what you want, he'll steal it for you. Mm. For a price. Cops say he's pretty good. Think he's stolen everything from microchips to airplane parts. Do you have any idea why Johnny Kudo would be hanging around a business called Big Island Mike's Immersion Excursions? Police mentioned that he's uh, always looking for places to hide what he steals until it's safe to deliver it. Maybe somebody at this excursion thing is helping him out. Hey, I really appreciate your help. Hey, no problem. Good luck to you, mate. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Now call Johnny Kudo. The person you have called oh. is not available. At the tone, please leave a message. Huh? Hey, Johnny. You don't know me, but you know my brother. He's the one you slugged when you were at Big Island Mike's. I know what you two have been up to. So if you're smart, you'll give me a call. What have they been up to? 280-555-7263. Well, the last time it sound like Johnny Kudo has stolen stuff or steals stuff for people, yeah. but then has to keep it somewhere until it's safe to deliver those goods or pawn them off or whatever. So possibly Mike is like storing them for him. Gosh, yeah. Joe is making it, or Frank is making it sound like. Truly. Did we just not ever see Joe again after this? I don't remember. I'm sure he comes back to something. We just 
Richard Aikens. Hello, Mr. Aikens. This is Frank Hardy. Calling from Hawaii? Yes, of course. In fact, I just got out of a meeting in which Pua Mapu was the main topic of discussion. Mm. Marketing is enthusiastic about using her, but they need to move quickly. So, if there's anything unsavory about the Mapus, I must know now. Unfortunately, my brother was in the process of looking around Mike Mapu's office when he was knocked unconscious. Good heavens, is he all right? The clinic wants to keep him under observation for a while, that's all. The bad part is, he didn't see who did it. Do you think the Mapus had something to do with it? I guess it's possible. Please. Mike Please. Mapu said it was probably just somebody who wandered in off the beach looking for cash. And Pua Mapu's just afraid we'll sue them or something. But I won't know anything for sure until I do a lot more checking. Please, do it quickly. Time is of the essence. Cool. That's it for now. Keep me posted. go back to the island, Mike. Uh, hello, sir. Come to confront Sorry, you. Sorry, can't talk. Too busy. Okay, well, maybe. Uh, sir. We're stuck. <laughs> sir. We can't go back to Nancy because we don't know what to do there. We don't know what to do here. Well, because the thing is, we've gotten scuba gear, but we don't even know what oh. we're supposed to do. Hello? With it. This is Kudo. <gasps> what do you want? Mostly, I want to know why you slugged my brother. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not scared. <laughs> <laughs> Assault and battery is a felony. I could make a lot of trouble for you. The guy double crossed me, okay? We had a deal. Is this Tex? I came through. Oh, Tex has so come I back. Oh my god, it's Tex, yeah. Before. Your brother was in the wrong place. It's like, anyway, Tex time. as Johnny Kudo. <laughs> He, he does, he like doesn't like his life on the farm anymore, he's come to Hawaii. Exactly, he's become a thief in Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> the firm what was it Mapu bad, paid you to steal for him? Literally. <laughs> you don't know anything about this, do you? Hey, I know all about it. In oh, fact... Shoot. No, wait, hello? Hello? You there? You there? Shoot. <sighs> oh, Frank. Yeah, I kinda... Hey, what's going on? What? Yeah, because I feel like we're supposed to be scuba diving, but we don't know why we're scuba diving yet. We haven't even found a reason to be scuba diving. True. We have the gear, so we're ready to go. So we should just do it, or what do you think? I wouldn't say, I don't even necessarily know if the game will allow us, because we don't want to be scuba diving There's for, no reason you know? for it, yeah. Um, and I feel like we could probably find out more stuff with Nancy at this point. somehow. I just don't know exactly. Like maybe go back to talk to uh, we try to face talk to Quigley again. True. Maybe ask I'm not sure how to tell you this, but I have reason like, to believe your dad is involved in something he shouldn't be. Hopefully. What do you mean? Like what? Like hiding, Illegal or maybe says. even fencing stolen property for someone. He's what? Look, it's a real, real long story, and I can't prove anything, so you don't really have to worry. But if he was, say, trying to hide a bunch of stuff for somebody, where do you suppose he'd put it? Oh my gosh, the chamber. That's what he's been doing in there. The chamber! This island is oh, riddled secrets. with lava tubes. Tunnels made by ancient volcanoes. They go all over the place. My dad knows them all. Lately, he's been spending a lot of time in one of them. He calls it the chamber because it's so big. But he refused to tell me what he's been doing. I was going to sneak down there and see for myself, but the earthquake caused this huge cave-in near the entrance. I can't get past it, but neither can my dad. So, whatever he's been keeping down there is still there. There's no other way to get into this chamber thing? Yes, there is, from the water. It says so on this there old chart my dad has. Think I could see it? The chart? Sure. The problem is, you can't just snorkel to the entrance. You have to ride oh, different currents shoot. to get there. The chart supposedly says how to do that, but I've never been able to figure it out. But if you can figure it out, you might be able to find the entrance. Cool. But if you do, and it turns out that my dad is doing something illegal, I want you to promise me that you won't call the police without talking to me first. I can't do that. No. Then you don't get the chart. Then again, maybe I can do that. <laughs> I promise I won't call the police. Say it. I promise I won't call the police unless I talk to you first. Okay? Okay. The chart's in that old trunk in the immersion center. To open it, you'll need to know what my father calls his favorite flavor of shavers. That's why we I need to do this I can never remember, so you'll have to ask him. Just don't make me sorry I trusted you. Okay, bye. So, okay, we can ask him first, but I think he's gonna be like, bring me the flavor and I'll tell you what it's called. But let's go ask him first. Truly. 
Good idea. And it's one of those trial and error, like, it is. Keep making combinations of shave ice and hope that Hey, you what's going on? Ever heard of a guy named Johnny Kudo? Never heard of him. Uh-huh. Hmm. You ever work with somebody named Johnny Kudo? Or maybe he took one of your excursions? Why are you asking? I think he may be the guy who clobbered Joe. Playing Kojak, huh? Well, I wish I knew something about this Kudo guy, but I don't. Lies! I'm curious. What's your favorite flavor of shave ice? Tell you what. I'm kind of hungry, so I'm going to make you guess. You make me a shave ice and bring it back here. If it's my favorite flavor or combination of flavors, I'll tell you. If it's not, well, we you'll just have to keep making them till you get it right. I hope so. Otherwise, it's just fish. Shoot. I think I can handle that. Like I always say, a busy customer is a happy customer. Okay. I don't know why. I feel like it's good like talking a mango to you. Catch you later. I feel like there's coconut and lime in it. We could try it mango. <laughs> For some reason, I remember like white and green and orange. Okay, okay, let's we'll we'll, we'll go off and do it right then. Okay. Like I mean, it's not really us doing a puzzle. It's just kind of from memory. Oh my god. No can do. I don't have any Big Island bucks. So we're gonna have to collect shells. Slash. Fish. <sighs> okay. Let's see what kind of shells. Okay. 
Well, I mean, we can sell these and see. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like we've done some. And then I can go back and collect more shells if we don't have to collect money. Hey, Truth what's going on? Got you some more fish. Let's see. Una, 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 Looking una, good. Una, 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 una. There you go. Oh, oh, those are actually two dollar fish. Congratulations. Okay, what else? Figure. More I'll check back with you later. Go, Let me know when you figure. want to try surfing go again. Figure. So we can actually, we have ten dollars. So we can actually make a few shaved ice. So let's just go do that. If we now. can't get it right after ten. Yeah, I swear. Okay, so. Okay, so we wanted to try mango. Yeah, mango, coconut, lime. Oh, is there an order we have to do this in? I don't think so. There we go. Now I'll just take this to Big Island Mike and hope that it's his favorite flavor. Oh, okay. I don't think so. That'd be dumb. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? Got a shave ice for you to try. Let's have it. <sighs> you did it. Was my favorite Whoa! flavor combination. Memory is a fascinating creature. Mango. It was like, I, I remember mango, only. and you were That's like, Hawaiian coconut sour lime. Kiss. Honey oh, awa. Okay, write this down. Honey, and then apostrophe awa. It's Hawaiian for sour kiss. Wow! What luck! Cheers Clark. to our memories. Thanks for your help. Catch you later. Honestly, wow. So happy. You know, I need to stop taking such big sips. Okay, okay so H. Oh. N. I. And then it's apostrophe. Weird looking dude. Looks like he has something to do with getting into that chamber thing. But what? Is this, I've this never seen him the, before. The order? But this maybe is Nancy important. has. For later, yeah. Hello? Hey Nance, oh, it's me. They don't let Listen, you. I just came across something kinda weird and I thought I'd see if you knew anything about it. I'd love to be able to see? help you. Sure. What is Turtle. it? Well, it's a drawing of this creepy face that has a mouth full of teeth with all these yeah. animals on them. Animals what kind of animals? Well, there's an eel, a turtle, a shark, a manta ray, a porcupine fish, an octopus, a crab, and an urchin. Hmm. Doesn't ring any does bells, bells but I'll keep again. my eyes open, yeah. okay? That's all I ask. Thanks, Nancy. Okay, well, my pleasure. Bye. You know, we have to do seeds so and let's just for us. See there's anything that Nancy wrote down that actually matters. Uh, yeah, we should definitely go back to Three Finger Rock. Finger rock. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. Okay. Alright, well, let's go back to Three uh, Trigger Rock. Three Finger, three finger rock. rock. Three Toes. Three Toe Rock. And, uh, and we can at least look at what vegetable or fruit or plant is beside True. each of the Trudle doodle doodle doodle. doodle. Yes. The only one we story. remember is banana. Yes. Um, so red is right here. So, okay, so right down that red is next to. Let's see what our options are here. Oh, not what I meant. What is next? Oh my gosh, what on earth? Candle nut! Girl, what? I'm gonna write down that it looks like large green leaves. Girl, with who? white girl, veining. What? Girl, why? Girl, where? Girl, why? Oh my gosh. Okay, so we must have to find something that gives us more I wonder if she gives it to us. She must. It's crazy to me. Bananas. So bananas is blue. Banana. Yellow is these kinds of little white flowers with jaggedy edged leaves.
maybe even in the knowledge computer that Frank and Joe can go into, maybe there's a section for like vegetation. Oh, is they have that? Well, remember where we went and we found the history of those like, oh, yeah. it might be one of the icons will give us, that's the only thing I can think of. Why is this so complicated? Why can't Nancy just solve this freaking mystery? Yeah, like Nancy, why don't you know what vegetation is? We don't want to figure it out for oh. you. This one might be one of the ones that has no vegetation. Because there are some where it says none. It doesn't look like the clip yeah. one says no vegetation. So let's just put 11 down for purple. Just for fun. Okay. And we don't, also don't know exactly what frass is yet. True. So like seeds might be one thing. The frass weight might be minus the seeds. Like, True. So Shoot. that's something we're going to have to find out. I love that we're a research assistant. We know nothing. Yeah, we know absolutely nothing. Do you have a book in here? That <gasps> Maybe! Oh, I wonder if she'll just like let us look if you like ask her. Girl, can I look in your backpack? Do you have information because I have apps. Like, why are you able to look over here if you can't? She like we must talk to her and she probably says just take it out of my You who? Quigley! Woohoo! Well? There's something I've been wanting to ask you. What? That's it for now, I guess. Yeah. Keep up the good work. Because I honestly don't know what we can do here because I am so lost with the... Exactly. Like, I'll try this number one more time because we keep trying it. True. We can also call Ned and see like maybe he has like a hint or something for us. Maybe. Not that we need to ask for hints. We but... don't like that. We don't like to ask for hints. Especially so early on. Or, like, it okay, feels I'll early call, on, I'll but call we... Frank. We're probably like a decent halfway through the game just because... <laughs> we can also go back to Healy Healy. Bless you. Hello. Hey Frank, it's me. Remember how you asked me if there was anything you could do to help me? You change your mind? Nope. So far, so good. Well, if you do change your mind, let me know. I will. Bye. Okay, well, let's go look at the information. Oh, so cute. She has a flamingo. She does. Hawaiian pathology. Hawaiian plants. Hawaiian plants. Hey, this'll cost you a big island buck, pal. Okay, what is that accent? Enough. What is that accent? <laughs> Poo hala. Is that one of the clipboard items? <laughs> I'll just break them all down. Yeah. Oh, there would be a lot. I don't know. This is. Bleed like leaves. Alapepe is gray bark. A Ali. No worries. Sorry. It's my speed law. A Ali. That is one of them. I remember that name. Is a. Uh, bark is reddish brown to blackish gray. Oh. Koa is long gray green sickle shaped leaves. Willy Willy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that one being one, but we can put Yeah, it might not be. Uh, yellow to reddish bark. Oh, we need this one. Ooh, now Paca. That one is going to be yellow. Now Paca is yellow. Let's write that down. Because the, they're like the two stone white flowers, which we basically said. Perfect. Now Paca. Kului has no trunk. And then a plant. We don't need this one. Yeah. Candlenut tree. Oh, candlenut is one that we need to know. Pointed pale green leaves. Myconia. Ooh, this looks familiar, these leaves. Oh, that one is, uh... Apparently they have a purple red. underside. I don't know if we noticed that, but... Uh, is this is Myconia? Yeah, Myconia. Cool. Um, I'm going to return to the menu just to see is there anything about I wish there was something about frass collecting that we could look at formation of the Hawaiian Islands uh, Hawaiian folklore points of interest we could look at points of interest just because maybe that'll give us like that cave true mythology mark plot we could try this one just for fun. The other ones I don't really think we need. Ooh, taro is a, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, this is 
not what I... Oh, poi is a type of food, okay? It's not points of interest like I would have uh, Oh my god. <laughs> you know what? We learned something new. Great! Awesome. Yeah, we wasted a whole point. Want something else? No. Good talking to you. Catch you later. Okay, well, well, I guess we'll call Nancy back so she can at least go get the plants. Still don't know how yeah. she's supposed to get any more information. Is there a book here that we can get information for Nancy? I don't think so. Like, should we not be it? Yeah. Very odd to me. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I, I, the thing is, I don't remember, like, anything from this game. Yeah, I, I very much don't either. It's been a long time, and I've only played this one, like, a couple times. Yeah. Hello? Hey, it's Frank. What's going on there? Still, Still plugging, plugging away. away. How about you? We're Me still too. Just there. Oh, yeah. I'd give you a call. Glad jungle. you did. Talk to you later. Which is good. I didn't want to drive back. Sure. So. Okay. So let's see here. So blue, blue we already knew was banana. Where are you? I feel like I need Walker here. Let's double check purple. I feel like purple might still be no vegetation. sickle-like leaves. There's one that had sickle-like leaves. Long gray green leaves, small clusters of flowers. Uh, oh, this one. Long glossy green leaves. Red no, there's one that literally said sickle in the description, but I don't necessarily know if I told you to write it down. You may not have. Because these look like sickle. Gray bark, long narrow leaves. This could be that. Hmm. Let's look at the clipboard and see which ones we need. Could be koa, long gray green leaves. Or hale pepe. Was, do we have, yeah, hale pepe is two. Could be gray bark, long narrow leaves. It does look like gray bark. Let's just put that for now. It's purple. Um, yeah, so, so let's say two. zero two. Okay, and then red is Myconia, which is 10. Mm -hmm. Blue is banana, so that's 08. Eight. And then yellow is Nopaka, which is 06. Okay, okay, so at least we have that. Do you want to just go back to Healy and see if there's anything to do there? Maybe, yeah. Uh, maybe he can give us something that will And I feel like maybe, <gasps> maybe one of the lockers. Maybe. Because I'm kind of like, she said all we needed was the clipboard, but it's like, it's just not That's, descriptive yeah. enough for us, like, without any knowledge of what, like, frass is, what seeds look like. Exactly. What, like, it's just a bit obscure. Exactly, yeah. It's very obscure. <laughs> Maybe we are just supposed to talk about it. Personally, I don't think. Then maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe we're just dumb. State your business, please. Hi, I'd like to see Dr. Craven. Dr. Craven isn't seeing anybody right now, so just back your car up, turn around, and leave. Nice. No, no, Dr. Craven will see me. Really, just call him, please. <sighs> Dr. Craven? What? <laughs> the young lady who... Dr. Craven, it's me, Nancy Drew. I know you're busy, but I really enjoyed talking to you before. Oh, Could I come in, in just for a few yeah. minutes? Let her in. What is it now? <laughs> I should go. It's this has been a real, been a real honor. honor. Good luck entomologizing. Thanks, sir. Okay, so maybe we can't do anything yet. I feel like there's important stuff I'd in love here, to see but... what's in that pocket. But if Dr. Craven caught me snooping in his things. Whew. Okay, honestly, like, are we missing something? Because she kept saying we need to, all we need to use is the clipboard. Like, I don't know what any of this is. I feel like there must be like a binder or something somewhere. Oh my god, wait. 
There's a hand. Oh my god. <laughs> Quickly, real, really do be saying. Use the clipboard. Oh my god. Note to self, two traps, green and orange, are at Kapu Cave. What? These are the cords. What? <laughs> this whole time we were running around in circles, like maybe it's at the camp. To sort and record trap contents, find trap empty contents into color-coded bag. Okay, we know that. Note and identify proximate vegetation. Record code in analysis grid on clipboard. Vegetation code key, which, key, which we have this at the bottom of. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, Place shoot. contents of baggie under microscope. <gasps> Remove and sort all non frass objects. Oh my god. So, frass is just these little worms. These like, go like squiggly, googly guys. Note weight of seeds. frass and record an analysis grid on clipboard. Note the number of seeds and record an analysis grid on clipboard. Determine the detritus predominance number and record in analysis grid on clip. Detritus predominance, is that like the, the insect parts? That's a little bit obscure, but okay. What is the detritus number? Well, I'm assuming if there's a frass number, an insect, or a seed number, and then a detritus blah blah blah. I feel like detritus must be insect parts. It better be. So then, repeat above steps for all six. Frass oh, this frass. is detritus predominance here. So um, we go most numerous, Second most numerous, Second numinous, most numinous, and least numerous, and then these are the corresponding numbers. So if we have mostly seeds, second uh, most grass, third most insect parts, this would be like the last thing problems. we do. Then. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ye ye ye. Uh, analyze samples to analyze contents of frass jars. Put frass sample into empty test tube. Add two drops of BQ19 to the test tube containing the frass sample. Note color of sample. Put sample of possible source material into separate test tube. Add two drops of BQ19 to the test tube containing Whoa. this sample. If color doesn't match frass sample, repeat this using other lot. possible source materials. If color, okay, we're gonna worry about that later. Yeah. In the meantime, write down the, did you write down the coordinates? No. <laughs> Let's write that down so we can get at least the other two samples from Kapu. O M G, we've been running around like <gasps> O M G double H K P. All the information we needed, we had in our clipboard. This whole time, we were literally, we we were literally walking in circles this whole time because we can't follow instructions. We thought we were following instructions. We just didn't believe what she was saying. Was we just did it. So it was 19, 19, N 19, 20, 30. and then. W one fifty five five thirty three. Oh, beep. stop this! Beep a deep. Oh, hey, <gasps> the creature lives upon Capu Cave. Capu Cave. Is this where the that like entrance is gonna be blocked? Must. Oh Whoa! My gosh, this is intense. This is literally where Satan lives. Yeah. So I'm gonna say no vegetation. True. So this looks green. So it got green. So green we're gonna say is no vegetation. So I'll write down eleven. Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> we're just gonna put a whole lot of rocks in there. There's our orange. Orange is probably also no vegetation. Cool. I mean we're in a lava cave, so. We're in a lava cave, in Kapu Cave. Okay, so now we can at least go back. Let's continue forward. Whoa! Look at like all that. those webs. I wonder what made them. I don't want the creature. Oh, there's so many. Them. Maybe it was the creature. A very big <gasps> spider. <Wow. gasps> Keep going. This is where this teeth and the symbols are going to matter. We're going to have to go back and I wonder be what Frank. the deal is with this yes. guy. Yes. And what's with all the animals on his teeth? But yeah, Frank asked us to tell him about these. Yeah, so okay. We'll talk to Frank. So let's just go back and do the frass samples and yeah. then we'll call Frank. Well, things are getting cool and creepy. Things are getting juicy up in Capital Cave. Club going up. Awesome oh, today. Alright, can quickly. Let's go. Let's do our frass. Frickin' frass. Yeah. Frickin' frass, you know? It's almost like frickin' frass. Yeah, frickin' frack. Frickin' frass. Okay, so let's, let's start, start in order. So we'll do red. Red. Uh, 
Yes, um, and then we'll take out all the frass. Yes. No. Yeah. So we're, we, what we want is the frass is weight. the frass. So weight. everything but frass. So we specifically all the frass is all the squiggly wigglies. So frass is our worms. Oh, and a seed pod. Okay, so oh, I may have to refer to this at least for the first one. Although this is not a part of frass, okay? So frass is like the skinny little wiggly things. Yeah. The insects are these, seeds are anything that looks like a seed, yeah. other than this other thing than with that. the tail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, is that a seed? That's a seed. Okay. So I'll put seeds up top I'm, here. I'm confident that that's a seed. I'm pretty confident that that is a seed. This 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 is a seed. Is that a seed? This is a seed. It's a seed. Or, no, it's an insect part. Is it detrimentous? De predominant. De predominant. So, oh, it's no, a seed. As an eye. We're good. It's a seed. Oh, no! Are you... So, kidding? you can't refer to it. It's a, It says no. It says use your brain. Ma'am. Okay. So anything that is like round and hard is like a seed. Mm -hmm. So these are all seeds. This I'm gonna guess is like an insect wing. Yeah. That's an insect. That's also that's an, an insect. No, oh, that's a frass. That's, this is an insect. Yeah. That's this an, is an insect. insect. That's this insect. is an insect. This is an insect. This is an insect. This is an ox attack. Is this an insect? This is, that's an insect. This is an ox attack. This is an ox. This is a time. Okay, so red is 99. Okay, red is 99. We're gonna write this down this before we go back to the binary. These are, okay, one. Or is starter. it the weight? Or is it the number? Seeds or number? One, two, yeah. Separate them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12 seeds. We'll write down the number of frass as well because we have to do the detrus predominance is like, what is their most of? Wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's 11. 11 frass. And then insect parts. So 12 seeds. So this, yeah. Insect parts, there will be. Stop! <laughs> Stop this nonsense! You know what? I'm just gonna like move these over here. We don't care about the weight right now. We got the frost. Yeah, the so weight is 99. Ahead. I have it written down. Okay. So, we're pretty much done with this, so we can go into here. So, frass weight 99. is 99. Number, number of seeds, seeds is 12. Is 12. Mm -hmm. Nitrous predominance is. Let's do. So there are more seeds than frass in this. And what it, it where insect parts is last? Yeah. So it goes seeds, frass, insect parts. So yeah. 405. No, I'm in the right thing. Ah. 405. Yes. Said. 405. Perfect. 405. All right. Done. This is time consuming, but we got it's it. It's time consuming, but at least it's possible. <laughs> so now we're on to. We'll probably blue. speed the rest of this up.
Do we get? Do we bring the clipboard back to her or? Analyze contents of frass jars. Put frass sample into empty test tube. Do we have to wait until she tells us to do this? Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back to her and say that we. I can't go anywhere. I haven't inserted the clipboard into oh. that formula machine thing. Oh, to like make oh, sure okay. it's right, maybe. Yeah, it must be. Well, how do I put it in? There, like that. <laughs> like that. Eighteen. That's nice. <laughs> cool. Eighteen. That's nice. Okay, well, hopefully that means that's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's the correct answer. That's what I would say. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> we'll go tell her what we found. Mm, Trudel doodle doodle do. Who's here? Tross, Fingale, Ross. I know we see like Quigley's name on the map and like that's where we need to go. I know. But, like to like find Quigley that she's Yeah. Like, she is not there. Hello. K. Don't worry, they were made by North of Ada Larvae, not Arachnids. And Those are the, the people that are part of I'm the sorority. Sure they're they the like North of Ada Larvae. They're right. just making webs Must all over the cave. Must have something to do with our food supply. <laughs> oh, I was just for curious. I'll get back to work. Activities. Yeah. Uh, no, excuse me. Yoo-hoo! Quigley! <laughs> He's just come down. Thank you. Flat. Well? I'm all done. I'm all done. Don't tell me, don't tell me. Okay, tell me. Well, I fed all the data into your formula machine and the number it came up with was 18? No, that's not right. You made oh. a mistake. So it was the blue. Oh, but I was so careful. So it was either the blue. Your results indicate otherwise. Or I double checked the data wrong. for the purple trap oh, if I were purple. you. Well, try again. Purple is the one where we weren't sure what the plant. Uh, so we might have just put the plant I mean, we could always call Frank, go back and double check what the plant is. It's the sickle shaped leaves for sure. And I don't know if we knew exactly what that was. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna call up Frank so oh, that yeah. he can find out the plant for us because we can't remember. True. Sure. And we know for a fact that has to be what we got wrong because the, the one that we were feeling weird about was Hello? blue. Hi she Frank, it's purple. Nancy. What's so, going on? Oh, has to be stuff. Yeah. How about you? Just calling to say oh, hey. Stop. Back at ya. <laughs> Bye. Such a nonchalant conversation. Bye. Oh, you know. And then, HBU. Hello. <laughs> oh, All right, Frank. Back in the plants. Sickle leaves. This. That one. Koa. Koa. So purple's Koa. Cool. Oh, I was just gonna go oh. put it in the clipboard and then I just realized I'm Frank. Okay. <laughs> Nancy, we found it. No, it's interesting. We spent a whole dollar just to do that. a waste of my life. Okay. Nancy. You don't know that. It's the unfair. You it's know, we have to like bad. travel back to put this Hello? Hey, hey Nancy. <laughs> hey, Frank, what's going on? You know me. Busy, busy, busy. busy. Doing you know what? Me. Well. And there you have it. Oh, and I also saved the whales and brought about world peace. Darn it, I was gonna do world peace. <laughs> Sorry, you have to do bug stuff. See ya, friend. Sorry, you have to do bug stuff. <laughs> I hate bugs. Oh. I know. I... Oh, okay. It always just, like, arrives her in a random place in the jungle when you come back. It's like, oh, really? Where I was before, and it's not where I'm But going. she's been wandering. She's been wandering. Okay, so Koa 3. Oh, oh my god, we were so close. My god. So close, but so far. There's no place around the field that I'm a safe bird at a sea. We have a man in the ocean world, and if I have one wish, could you accept to the source of the sea on the horizon? Wani kiniki wani doki doki on the horizon. I am flying on a Hawaiian roller coaster ride. Nancy, give us what we need. Watch it be like. Okay. 
Yeah, it's, it's gonna be yeah. 17.5. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> 18. That's nice. I swear, we're gonna tell her that and she'll be like, it's right this time. <laughs> I swear. I swear. She swears. I'm not allowed to do that on this channel. I swear. Yeah, if we go to her and we give her the same number. I just went back to the <laughs> Looking at her name. <laughs> we're not gonna get anywhere. We're not gonna get anywhere at all. It doesn't feel like it, honestly. It feels like we've gone nowhere in this game. And I feel like we're like a decent way in. I know. It feels like we've made no yeah. progress. We, we still have to do that freaking maze at Healy Healy. Yeah. Remember? I really hope it's you that does that because I'm scared. <laughs> It'll be your turn and you'll just be avoiding yeah. Healy Healy at all costs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quigley? Girl. The number is 18. No, not no, Did you do it right this time? Yeah. You bet. The number I got is 18. Not right. I double checked the data for the purple trap if I were you. Well, try again. So maybe it's not. So let's count all of them. Unless maybe that was the one that we were second guessing. Okay, let's look at this plant. This is definitely sickle shaped leaves. Okay. Like, I have no doubt that that is a sickle. No doubt. So that I know that we are right now. So she, but she keeps saying purple. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna go back and do the And frat. we're gonna recount the frost for purple. Okay. Why must this be my life right now? <laughs> You remember that song? <laughs> what is that? You remember that song? What is it from? We love Stitch! I told you, I watched that movie like maybe twice. <laughs> Just to have it as our theme in the background while we do more for us. Y'all and y'all. This is what I was trying to say. <laughs> Very close. <laughs> <laughs> you have <laughs> because our numbers are perfect. So, Confirmed, yes. So I was like, maybe it's not a koa. But, if you look at the numbers, <laughs> they come after the plant <laughs> name. And because I just saw koa and saw that three was right hugging it, I was like, koa is three. No, no, no. Koa is four. Koa is four. <laughs> so you know what? After all that frass recounting, watch it still be- This is what it's supposed to be. Just watch it still be 18. <laughs> Oh, okay, 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 okay. What? Oh, no, no, no. Watch it be 19. We're just gonna be it's like, just going to be, yeah, it's going to be something stupid. 17.75. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I cannot believe that I just put in 119,456. Mm. 
that is right. dramatically different for a one we want it one on this table. <laughs> that is dramatic. <laughs> Go from 18 to 119,000. Like 456. <laughs> Great. We know that the puzzle's done. That's oh, all that matters. Oh I swear to God, we, this, is, this is the mini golf of this game. It's <laughs> taking us the entire time. And I know that people like lament about the frass collecting, but it's just that it takes some time. And it takes a lot more time. I didn't realize people this. lament about it. I think it's just like, I don't know, it's like the bug and bird hunting of the game. True. It's like, you know, it's unnecessary. Styles. It doesn't have anything to do with the plot. But we yeah. have to spend more than half of the game doing it. Technically, it was a pretty short game in general. It's not a long game. Well, it's just like if you if you factor in like what's it called? Um, Secret of the O'Clock is also one of the shortest games in the yes. catalog. It's just the mini. Games it's the are mini short. Like, yeah. The time. Yeah. Girl. Quigley. Oh, no, we're like walking could you up come down party. here? Eighteen. <laughs> walking up again. Eighteen. <laughs> She's like, girl. No. Did you do it right this time? I told you. Check the purpose of hundred nineteen thousand, girl. What are you doing? Hundred nineteen thousand five hundred and forty-eight. <laughs> you bet. 18. So what are your findings? <laughs> Tell me. Well, the number your formula machine came up with was one hundred nineteen thousand four hundred fifty-six. <laughs> 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 yes, yes. It really Just is like true. For a I've stumbled upon the <laughs> biggest <laughs> bloom of Norse beta larva ever recorded. The biggest bloom We're of gonna be famous Nancy ever. and with a richest hack. Way to go! <laughs> the biggest Thank bloom you. of the Norse beta larva. I just wish I knew what you were talking about. You just confirmed uh, that for some the reason, sort of the like Norse beta odorata in this area, maybe on the whole <laughs> island, <laughs> are reproducing <laughs> at an unheard of rate. <laughs> what are Norse beta odorata? It's a kind of moth, <laughs> and to have it suddenly be producing ten times more larvae than usual, it's huge! Oh, Nothing pineapple like this has problem. ever happened before, anywhere! Obscure. It's as if you woke up one morning and found a thousand baby robins in your front yard. It just doesn't happen. Okay. okay, you've confirmed what is happening. Now we need to figure out the why it's happening. You need to analyze the contents of those frass jars. The notes on my clipboard will tell you how to go about all it. I want we to need to know what all those Norse beta caterpillars have been eating. Science has been going so uh, you mean the stuff in those jars is, <laughs> I mean, sure? came from <laughs> caterpillars? Sure, of course, they're frass jars. But before you start your analysis, you need to get a sample of whatever it is that Malachi Craven is secretly growing up there at the Healy Healy. Even if it means sneaking in. <laughs> See if that's what those caterpillars have been eating. Something big's going on here. I hate this part. Let's make history and it find out what. It actually scares me because they're all of these nonsense hazmat suits. They're scary looking and it's you all like hazy. It's like E.T. when the men come in the next yeah. room. That always scared me so much as a kid. I hated that part. That's what it is. I couldn't watch it. You just wait, guys. You're gonna see. Nosebeta, Ora, Nosebeta, Ora, Nosebeta, Ora, Nosebeta, Ora, Nosebeta, Ora. Alright, Hila, Lily, Hila, Lily, 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 Hi. State your business. Oh, it's you. <laughs> what is it now? <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> oh, That's my favorite greeting I've ever heard. State your business. Oh, it's you. I have thoroughly enjoyed okay, talking to really you. Good, good luck entomologizing. Okay. Yeah. No, I was using an excuse to get into here so I can infiltrate your organization. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So I can figure out the Nosa Beta Odoratus. Which I still am not quite positive how I'm supposed to be breaking. I feel like it's, it's, it's in the lab coat. Locker. It's probably in the lab coat. It thing. is in the lab coat, but how are we supposed to get it? We need to like get him to do something. Do we break something? Do you know what I mean? Because hundred percent we need to get what is in his lab coat. Yeah. Dr. Craven? <gasps> He's sound asleep. He must have decided to take that antihistamine after all. And that's it for today. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. We post every Monday, so the next part will be out soon. Hope to see you then. Boozy Broads out.